How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video we're going to be going through a couple of slow motion swings within a game of ranked seasons. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is MLB The Show 22. Obviously we have not gotten an updated calendar for a few days now and we do have an updated ranked season schedule and if you notice here ranked seasons number 12 will actually end on April 11th and this kind of correlates to what I was predicting with MLB The Show 22 in the fact that we're about 10 days or 11 days away from hearing some MLB The Show 22 news potentially the cover athlete revealed and I would expect to see MLB The Show release sometime during that week of the 11th uh, I want to say the 15th is a Friday that's kind of why I picked that day we might have some early access a few days before that um, so who knows we could you know have the game released on the 12th early access and then officially released on the 15th or the 16th over that weekend uh, but anyway we're getting into a game of rank seasons and I recognize this opponent's PSN and their uh, I guess team name right TTV uh, Dark Assassin on Twitch I recognize this person. I want to say they have been following the channel. They were a part of the stream. I could be mixing it up, right? Dark Assassin's kind of a, uh, not necessarily a generic name, but I feel like it's a common name a lot of people might use. Uh, but I, I almost, I'm almost positive that I know this player and that they've been watching the Twitch stream. So I thought this was pretty cool. We start the game off with a two-run shot, a perfect swing from Pablo Sanchez. And you can see with this slow motion swing that I was moving the PCI quite a bit up until the point of contact right before the point of contact and you can earn a PCI penalty by doing that uh, just based on my experience right I, it's hard for me to confirm that but the active quirks for certain pitches help obviously those are not available on a created player uh, but the very next pitch we hit a single with Babe Ruth up the middle now that brings up Brian Reynolds switch hitter right in the middle of the lineup and he goes back to that fastball low and away second perfect home run of the inning and it's almost the same PCI movement, same swing and swing timing, essentially. So I'm sitting on the inside half. We move the PCI to the left and then a little bit down into the left. Kind of a double reaction. I've talked about those types of swings in the past. Um, but overall, good swing, perfect. We got under it. We didn't hit into a double play. And we take an early 4 nothing lead on just a few swings. So a few base hits few solid perfect hits and we have four runs so now we are trying to pitch with the lead here we're testing this opponent I have to see can he hit the pitch up and inside well that one's never coming back that is a moonshot from Babe Ruth first one of the game there top of the third two outs didn't really get anything going in the previous inning and Mike Trout finest Mike Trout's ripping this one into the gap that's gonna be extra bases with two down and the heart of his lineup coming up to the plate He's actually going for third here. Thought we might have a chance to throw him out. We get out of the inning without giving up that run. Now we have Cattell Marte, and I'm looking for that pitch low and outside. However, the last two innings, this one in the previous inning, I was missing that pitch. That's a pitch I'm looking for here. He goes with the changeup, dropped the PCI way too much. Still had pretty good timing on that one. All-star difficulty, kind of weird play out there in center field. Mike Trout makes the play. Uh, we only have a three-run lead. We could have, we have had some opportunities to score a few more runs. We've had some good pitches to hit that I've just barely missed just off of the PCI. This one is early side of good. Uh, an outside pitch, you can take a look at the uh, PCI there. He was looking for that pitch, though. I could tell. I had gone to it a few times uh, facing a righty, and he goes back-to-back. -back. So, cuts the lead um, down to one there, four to three ball game, top of the fourth. We got to respond with a couple runs of our own and we don't top of the fifth inning four to three game he's got Cattell Marte ripping one into the gap Brian Reynolds just seemed really slow on this play I don't know if I just got a bad reaction he just seemed like he was uh, much slower than 87 88 speed uh, but he's in there with a triple 74 speed makes it in there with a triple you don't usually see that too often at ship it uh, but anyway 4-4 ball game he just ties it up We've been shut down. We only have those four hits. I haven't gotten a base runner in the last couple of innings. And this opponent's starting to put the bats together. Hits this pitch. Sinker on the outside corner. Off the plate. Goes the other way with it. Now we're facing Salvador Perez on a 2-1 count. 
or a 2 0 count, my mistake. I'm throwing a fastball, and he has the dead red quirk throw behind the base runner, and he's aggressive. He takes the extra base, gets 90 speed, uh, 90 feet away, and he's going to score him. This was a terrible curveball. Brought in Cole Hamels in relief. And I don't think he's going to stay in the game for too long. Um, but I wanted to mix in a lefty. My lefties were a little bit tired in the bullpen. I had used them in the previous game. So I figured Cole Hamels, I haven't really used this card in ranked seasons. Might as well try him out. I got some weak contact there, but those... Base hits are fine in the gaps. They're they're uh, dribbling through the infield. And now he's up two. He's going with the hit and run here. Takes a swing and a miss. We get the perfect throw, and we throw out Fernando Tatis. That is what we needed. We, we cannot afford to give up more runs just because of the way I've performed at the plate. We put up four in the first, and we've been shut down ever since. This opponent responded and pitched pretty well with this Hunter Green card. And once again, I'm looking for that fastball low and away. We get a base hit to start the inning. First pitch, double play. Uh, that's what I was trying to avoid earlier in the game. Just kind of getting on top of the ball on some of those low pitches. You almost have to be just late in order to get under some of those borderline pitches low, just below the strike zone. Like, for example, right here. Very late with Juan Soto. He doesn't have really any of those active quirks activated except for night player. Um, but we're able to get something going here. We get a, a late hit. And then an early hit, that's going to result in extra bases as well. So we're going to try and tie the game up. 60 speed, coming around to score, play at the plate, pretty close play. Uh, I thought I was out when he threw the ball. I thought I was out. But we get in there, we're facing Babe Ruth, who already has two home runs in this game. We finally get him out, get him to chase a 3-2 count with two outs in that one. And now we're going into the bottom of the eighth inning. Cattell Marte. Has had a few home runs in the last few games. He's definitely stepped up. He's been my best hitter since I picked him up. I wasn't expecting that. I knew he'd be one of the better, finest cards. I did not think he would be the best one for me. But uh, this opponent brings in Aaron Loop. We try and sit on that cutter out in front of it. He brings in Steve Ciszek. So in the middle of the at-bat, we hit a foul home run. He brings in the righty. Perfect line drive right to the third baseman would have loved to have that one sneak by we get a base hit and then on top of a sinker up in the zone I, I don't even know how I get on top of that pitch I'm looking for that pitch move the PCI as soon as he throws it just missed it but anyway we have three outs yet to get we're up a run and this opponent starts it off with a late jammed hit I got one in the previous inning can't complain there uh, anyway, we're trying to get the double play. This opponent has gotten me to hit into one or two double plays in this game. And now we get one from him and his pinch hitter, Wade Boggs. We're one out away from this victory. And uh, I'm excited for MLB The Show 22. I can't wait for it. I'm excited to see any news that's released. I know we're about 10 or 11 days away. I'm just looking forward to it. I know a lot of people are talking about it. So, that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty. Hopefully I was able to help you out in some way. Peace out.